The weird dream I had this morning, I told Kyle about it, like, it was like five or ten minutes before my alarm woke me up. Mm -hmm. So, I w in my dream, I'm a boy, for some reason, I'm a boy in my dream. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I have an older brother, okay, and he would try to scare me with all these creepy masks, and I would just pull them oh. off his face. Yep. And I'll be like, really? Come on. And then, like, the moment he comes up to me, I'm like, okay, you gotta be kidding me. You really gonna try to scare me again with this fake mask? So I tried to pull it off, but it wouldn't come off. Oh. It was like... It was a real yep. uh, monster and stuff. And right when my alarm woke, up, yeah. woke me up, like the, the older person monster thing was like right in my face. So like usually when I, if I'm up early enough, I'll like go back to sleep. But mm -hmm. I was like, do I really want to go to sleep in case this <laughs> dream continues? Because I do not want to know what happens next. Yeah. Don't so want to know what happens at the end, what the end result or so. Yeah. Say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, you guys, I promised I'll be live like, vlogging again. Speaking about like a dream mm -hmm. and being woken up mm -hmm. and then wanting to go back to sleep to continue the dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember a long time ago when my cat was still alive. Uh -huh. Um. I remember I was having this really neat dream. I don't remember what it was about though. But I, w I got woken up right at a part that was gonna something happen real neat. Mm -hmm. Cat jumps on me. <laughs> <laughs> I've always, yeah, that sucks though, but then you try to go back to sleep. I picked him up, got out of bed, picked him up, put him out the door, and I shut the door. <laughs> and he looked at me like, Meow, like, why? <laughs> and then I went back to bed, and I lay down, and I fell back asleep, and it was a totally different dream came back. I was like, mm. oh, yes, dream. oh. That's happened to me so many times. Like, mm -hmm. I wake up, I'm like, okay, maybe quickly, if I quickly fall back asleep, I'll get back to the part I was continuing about. And I'm just like, nope. A totally different dream. I'm like, really? So, Wilbert, mm -hmm. how are you doing without your little son mm -hmm. here? Ain't my son. Ain't my son. I don't have a kid. <laughs> I don't want to live in the rubber. Uh, we're not talking about oh, you. I don't have a kid. Wilbert, you already said. Oh, yeah? He wouldn't want to live with Wilbert. No, because he'd, he'd have to get out and, do, and, and shovel snow. He would have to do chores. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to grab grass. Paul, what are you going to do when you get out on your own? No one's going to do that stuff for you. No. Is that going to happen? What happens, <laughs> what happens when mom gets six feet under? And mom ain't around anymore. Paul, oh, what are you going to do? Hmm? Probably no. live by myself. No, what will happen is they'll test him. Yep. He won't get it right and he'll go to a group home. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what are you guys saying about that? A group home means that you can't live by yourself you without supervision. If you can't do any of the stuff with basic living stuff at your house, yeah. that means you can't live by yourself. You gotta okay. live in a group home where they have staff members to make so sure you can't work, lawnmower, pull weeds. that Run a you're vacuum, vacuum, cook, you'll be in the cook group laundry, make sure you're alive. Yeah. Make sure they ain't stretched out dead in the counter. Yeah, or dead in your bed. Or like that's what the thing is, Paul, with group homes. Yeah. That's what those they're for people that can't take care of themselves by themselves. Like that. So that's what they See, mean I by that. See, I have to go because I know how to work. I know how to mm -hmm. even have a clean and how to do all that shit. Done. See, like with me and my friends, we have a plan that we all want to move in together. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. We just don't know if it's like in Virginia or I don't know where. Yeah, because. I want to get some traveling done. Mm -hmm. My friend Elijah said he'll come with me to do some traveling. He's yeah. like, can we stop at the UK? I'm like, sure, we can stop at the UK yeah, for like a month or two. Yeah. And then <laughs> my one friend wants to go to the UK because their legal age of drinking is 18. Mm -hmm. And she's 18. Well, she's going to be 19 next month. Yeah. See, that's what they test you for, Paul. They make, they make yeah. you do a test. If you can't run a lawn board, there was a country I heard of that there is no legal age to So basically a five-year-old can drink alcohol. Hello. It's one of those countries you've never heard of. Huh. Well, they said you have to be at least the age of 10. Elementary school, basically. Mm -hmm. Elementary school kids basically get drunk off their ASS. They'd be bringing their lunch to school and sitting down at lunch and pulling a beer out of their lunchbox. Instead of a, a kid's these days, they're pulling juice or something else. Uh, yeah, a soda. Mm -hmm. How was your niece? 
Nephew. Fine. Ah, I yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Wilbur, did his lover call you at all? I had Twice. Who's that, Wilbur? Eddie's lover. Eddie's lover, Andrea. Andrea. Eddie ain't here. Oh, where's he at? Hey, all right. We ain't seen him in three days. Who knows? Uh, what'd you do to him, Wilbur? Nothing. I didn't do nothing to him. <laughs> <laughs> Do we all make the noise? <laughs> That's what me and Kyle, did you hear me and Kyle made that noise? They're like, uh, yeah. I would have done flushed him in the sword, but I ain't seen him. Yeah. I ain't didn't see him a cheek this weekend either. Time to run into him. Nope. Time to run into him. I forget something. I didn't think. Watch him not come until like next week or the week after. Maybe, like, maybe he got told to go to the service. The what? He, I feel he, sorry for them. Got called doing the service. He he put uh, he was uh, showed out the paperwork to go to the service. I think that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what he said. That's what he says. He doesn't have actual proof. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe he got told to go to the service. He ain't here anymore. I feel sorry for the sergeants and stuff at the boot oh, camps. That's what I feel sorry for. He shipped right back home. They won't put up that crap. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Carl, I have theirs at home. And I eat him. He'll come a man real quick or he'll, he'll stand. Say hi, Bob. Yeah, he'll stand. He'll say hi. <laughs> he's like the only quiet one at our table. Usually it's everyone here. And yeah. He's very quiet. <clears throat> what? He Bob's real cool guy. Yes. He is. Where's Bob? Hey, he can't I'm answer. He has tea in his mouth. I know you are. Now let's be nice here. Oh, I am. I'm being nice to you. I think that's where we're in the vlog. This is vlog 18. Yeah, you pick on you and I'll be doing the live stream tonight. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh -huh. Peace out. Stay lit.